Whoa. So today, we're gonna check out the MPC stems. I never thought this would happen, but we're gonna check out the video right now. I have it linked in the description box just in case you miss it, because holy, I am with the shit. So spoiler alert, I have seen the tail end of this, but I haven't seen the very beginning. So we're gonna start it off. This is the official video. Andy Mack for Mac I Pro. Get it. I'm excited to announce that we've now added stem separation to the iconic MPC workflow, opening up new boundaries, bringing us into a new era of uh. sampling. Take any vinyl record, any sample. This this is huge, bro. Giving you drums, Big bass, music, and That's vocals. That's uh, Marlo Diggs, my broski. Inside the iconic MPC workflow. Now let's Inside. take a look how stem separation works inside MPC. Oof. Now, the first thing we need to start with is a sample. Now, I've got like a real classic sound and sample here. Turn the light down low. Okay, then. The now, the great thing about this sample, it has all of the elements that we need, which is drums, bass, vocals, and a melodic, and uh -huh. it has that classic sound and feel to it. So we might want to take out the vocal, the bass, or the drums, and this is where MPC Stems really does enhance your workflow. All right. So let's use our start and end points to find the part of the sample that we actually want to stem out. So it's a part so of the sample editor. Section. Now we go to process and we navigate all the way to create stems. Here, you'll see our four stem Ooh, options that you can wee. turn on and off. So if you don't want to stem out the drums, you can just simply turn that part off and then it won't be included. Okay. So we'll turn that so on because we want all Similar to Serato. We can also set up our assignment to our pad, which will set But now it's inside of the MPC. It's crazy. And we keep trim on, which is using our starting endpoints. So press do it. And then what it's doing now is processing the stems for us, which takes a few seconds. And then once that's completed, we'll navigate over to our main menu. And now let's play our Boom. stems. Now in program edit is where we can control our four stem layers. Take out the bass, drums, so you can do this in real time? Bring it back. Take out the music. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Bro. We haven't even got to the good stuff yet. I already know. And you can do this in real time. Like Serato. What? Like, I, I'm at loss for words. Like, what do y'all guys think so far? This is crazy. Let's bring back the music. Now, as you can hear, the sound quality is absolutely stunning. Now, if we also navigate back to sample edit, yeah. we can actually I, I just see the sound our quality too. individual layers in waveforms. So here, we've got our original sample, and now we've got the bass separation, drums, music, and vocals. So here, you could do all your traditional MPC chopping in real time or using regions and then save those as a program and then start making beats with each of the individual stems. That's so crazy. Let's make a beat out of the stem that we created. So let's go back to our main menu. And what we're going to do now is I want to take out some of the parts from our stem. So I'm going to take out the drums and the bass. That's crazy. And I want to give this a real kind of a hip hop boom bap feel. So what I want to do is I want to pitch up the sample now. So let's go to global and I'm going to pitch it up five semitones. Turn the light down low. Turn the light. Now that kind of puts us in the Kanye kind of Jay-Z vibe. So it got a little faster. Now what we can also do is add effects such as Flavor Pro to make it even more Shit, kind of I still work with that. Fuck that. Excuse my French. With these types of effects, you can see the possibilities of what you can do with a single sample and just removed everything just down to the DNA of just the vocal and the music. Okay. So now let's record this. Turn the light, turn the light. 
Now let's go to a drum track. Some of Marco Polo's drum sounds from Pad Thai and Boom Bap Essentials. Okay then. And we just finished off, added a few extra hats and snares. Now we've got our beat where we want it. Let's go to another track and now let's add a bass line. Now we'll use 16 levels. That's really in the pocket. So the question of the evening is this right here. Uh, can you chop with stems in real time like Serato? That is my big question. Edit all four layers of your stems by pressing the edit all layers tab. And oh, now, shit. You touch the UI and use the data wheel. We can change all of the pitch across all four layers. Ooh. And the Q links will still control the individual stems. So it is not non-destructive, but still though. You can also delete any of your stem layers within your program edit just by pressing the delete tab. And then you can also use undo. Okay. One of the fastest ways to chop samples is using the chop mode on MPC. Now what we've added with stems is the ability that you can chop the original sample and then when you stem it out, all of your chop region slices will remain across each individual stem. Oh. So let's use this sample. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into our chop mode and we're gonna manually create our chops. Now, so many of you are going to be used to this method of chopping up your samples. What's she going to now, show once us? You've done your chops. We normally go back in, we fine tune our chops. So we can still do this process. Give it to me. Now, once you're happy with your chops, we simply go to process and we navigate to create stems, and this time we uncheck the use trimmed sample box. Well, I'll be damned. It looks like you can just chop up your sample, then you can do the process, and a lot of people don't know that. Like, you can shift and then have access to your process. That's how I kind of do reverse samples and stuff like that for individual chops. But this right here shows you a whole lot. That is in freaking sane individual stems but it's going to maintain all of the slice points that's incredible the original sample yo and once this is completed we go to our sample here's our original oof now here's our bass drums It's our melodic. Bro, this is huge for this very reason right here. Um, I'm one of the things that I wanted to do in terms of like remixing and genre changing, and this is kind of what I wanted to do inside of FL Studio, you know, given that they had the same thing. And the only issue with FL Studio is I hate chopping samples in there. It's just not as streamlined as like the MPCs or any other DAW at this point, this makes that process a whole lot easier. And just having the ability to chop individual samples or stems uh, makes it a kind of a thing where you can transform whatever existing song or whatever you want to sample into its own brand new joint. And then just imagine like throwing like the vocals or whatnot, just keeping the vocals the same from what you what you extract. And I don't know if I want to give you this damn sauce, hell no. And as you can see, all of our chops are in the exact place where we chopped our original sample. So now you can go in, you can fine tune these chops 
And then if we hold down and do convert, we can now save this as a program and we can now use those chops to make a completely different track. Now the great thing about stems is that we've removed all of our other elements and we've taken these sample chops from that one layer and created something completely different by removing the drums, bass and vocals. Oof. Thanks for watching this overview of the up and coming MPC Hey, my, my guy right coming there. MPC software first, followed by MPC standalone. Bro, I'm excited about this for a um, myriad of reasons. This is not a reason why I would not be excited. I definitely want to hear from you guys in the comment section. Like, how do you feel about the announcement of NPC STEM? So it's not out yet. So I have a little bit more information and it will be its own individual thing. So uh, you, you can expect that it probably won't be free, but it won't be like something that's expensive. I think it's going to be a pretty affordable price. I'm not going to quote anything yet, you know, because everything is still in the process. I actually have access to it now and <laughs> I'm about to see what I can do with it. And, and I'll share it with the community at large. So, you know, I, that's one of the things here. I, I do apologize. I wasn't able to uh, do something on release day because I'm still trying to figure it out myself. But yeah. I'm excited about the news mainly because I, it opens up the door for something, you know what I mean? Just like how initially with sampling, you know, you had all the older machines back in the day where, you know, you sampling in itself was game changing and it was genre changing in, in a certain case. Now that we have access to stems, it brings a little bit more to the table. You you don't necessarily have to use this for hip hop or anything like that. It, but for electronic musicians, this is going to open up the door. If you're already used to the MPC, man, you're really going to have an advantage in this. And this is what I really wanted. I called this a I called this out a long time ago of how important this would be for the MPC, and it's happening. To the right of me, I got more content for that ass. Make sure that you subscribe. I got access to it. It's not out yet, but yeah, when it's officially drops, I'm pretty sure the world's about to go absolutely crazy, at least our world. And I definitely want to know, again, what, what do you feel about the NPC stems coming to the NPCs in no time flat? Crazy.